Hey, what's up guys? Mash Shiny here, come back with a brand new video for you guys. Now we got a lot to talk about today. We're going to be talking about some things going on with one specific case, along with what we're starting here, which is the 400% gain we've seen for a couple specific M4A4 skins. Now I'm sure you've all probably heard of the Coalition skin. It comes from 2021 Train Collection, which was during Operation Riptide that it was attainable. Now it's very interesting to see how crazy this has gotten. However, I do want to warn you that this is just a very common example of a peak and a collapse. You can see it here with the field tested and you can see it with the factory new. It's an item that doesn't have a ton of quantity but the thing is the demand is really high right now and it's going to fall off. What's more important though is the entirety of the M4A4 skins which we'll talk about in just a second after a word from our sponsor Skinport. Today's video is sponsored by Skinport. Now Skinport is a super quick and easy way to pick up some brand new skins. Now if you're looking to buy on the website it's going to be completely free. There's no buyer's fee and if you're looking to sell it's only going to be 12% which is a small price to pay for being 100% secure. Now, the reason I go with Skinport is because they've got a 4.9 out of 5 on Trustpilot with 10,000 reviews, over 400,000 skins on the site, but the biggest thing is they're able to cash out to your local currency completely seamlessly. Combine that with the fact they've got skins so much cheaper than the Steam community market, and there's no reason not to. Make sure to check them out with the top link in the description or the pinned comment. Let's hop on into it. Now, around seven months ago, I made a video Video talking about why I was investing into a bunch of M4A4 skins and that video did extremely well not only the video pulling in a decent amount of views but the fact that I made a significant amount of profit because of it I was able to buy in a ton of M4A4 skins and then sell them when if you don't remember the M4A4 got a buff or rather people perceived the M4A4 got a buff because the M4A1S went down to only having 20 bullets in a magazine now in actuality this was very short-lived and I'm sure Sure, most of you remember this but basically the m4a4 is shot up in price and then completely dropped off you can see it here with the m4a4 neo-noir graph it was super short-lived but it was short enough and long enough i guess that i was able to make a decent amount of profit because i quick sold all of my m4a4 skins made a ton of profit this was actually something i was very close to doing again i started to look at the design and the patterns of the m4a4 skins and noticed that they were all still decreasing or at bare minimum staying a similar price point that they were before the past update and the fact that we saw with the major M4A1S dominance showed that there was most likely going to be a rebalance after the actual major finished. The biggest thing I want to point out here is obviously this is an investing channel but the thing is there's definitely a lot of good opportunities in flipping items and especially update based related investing which is kind of what this was. It's something I just recommend you keep an eye on because there's a ton of profit and usually it's not too risky if you buy a for a decent price. Now I want to talk about the Fracture case. The Fracture case is a very interesting experience to look at because it's holding so many different interesting angles. Now obviously the Fracture case has gone up in price and I think everyone knows that but the thing is when you dive a little bit deeper and talk about the why which we will in a second it gets a little bit more complex than most people were thinking at least in my experience. Now the thing is the Fracture case has gone up in price significantly. We've seen a 50% gain from the Fracture case which is absolutely crazy and not something I expected expected to see. But the thing is, the demand is not necessarily isolated to the Steam community market. We can see it here from China that the demand was also increased there, which offers a very interesting idea of what specifically people are buying into the Fracture case for. Now, in my opinion, I think people are really choosing the Fracture case because they're looking at the active duty cases and picking out what case they believe are going to go into the rare drop pool next. We haven't seen any movement from the snake bite nor the clutch case, which really is kind of interesting considering you would probably want to put at least some money into those ones which could also mean that there is a little bit of hype behind this or people are just investing in because everyone else is and they don't want to feel left out. Now this situation gets a little bit messy when you consider the possibility of an operation considering what we saw with Riptide is that active duty cases fell about 50% specifically talking about the clutch case here during Operation Riptide which is something that's very interesting that these people are betting that instead of an operation, we are going to see a brand new case. That's the interpretation that I am having from this, because the thing is, if they were betting on an operation, they would not assume that we are going to be getting a new case, which would bump one of these cases into the rare drop pool, and therefore, that's what they're going to be profiting off of. If we saw an operation, we're not going to see any changes to the active duty drop pool, and most of these cases are ending up dropping in price. 
And the last thing I want to throw in here about the fracture case is make sure you're using the correct numbers. Up top here, we've got the old numbers we thought were correct, and on the bottom, we've got the actual correct numbers. This is very important because this could impact your investing decision, and it's something that not everyone is aware of. So I just want to kind of throw it out there because it was incorrect for such a long time, and it's something that is very important for you to know about, especially if you're looking to invest into the fracture case. Now, I also want to talk about the Steam sale that has just been released released today or a day after what you're seeing for this recording. Now it's very interesting because this could definitely have some impact onto the current prices we're seeing on the market, however I find that highly unlikely. As time has really progressed, we've seen these Steam sales, and especially this isn't even one of the major ones, this is the Autumn sale, which really doesn't make too much sense in my opinion considering it is cold outside, I mean it's not warm and it's definitely not Autumn in my opinion, but the thing is we're starting to see so many different games go on sale, but I just don't think there's a ton of really good discounts that we're seeing. Now being completely honest, I'm not that big into gaming, but looking at some of these sales, the only game I really recognize was cyberpunk and honestly I don't think there's a ton of games out there that are really able to be put on sale because we really haven't been seeing a ton of top tier games as of recently therefore I think the fact that you could contribute some of this to the sale is very very vague at best I don't think there's a very large connection here and honestly I think I've mentioned this before but the thing is a lot of these sales have lost their potency with time we really haven't been seeing a ton of top tier games as of recently and the fact that these sales have only been really decreasing in value or decreasing in the amount of good games going on sale has kind of proven the fact to me that these sales are almost irrelevant at this point. Obviously, I will keep you guys updated with every sale, but the thing is, the autumn sale here, I really don't see a ton of interest in, and I don't see a very large reason, as for most people, that they're going to be buying a ton of these games. Now, this is not super related to the rest of the video, but it's a couple quick pointers I want to point out to you, because honestly, this is probably your last chance to do it. Now, first thing I want to point out is the winter sale for 2021 was right around Christmas of last year, which is just a month ahead of time. So it's very interesting we're seeing the autumn sale now. Honestly, I don't remember when it was in 2021. But the thing is, this is probably the last time you're going to remember that you can actually level up your Steam account for absolutely free. If you haven't done so already, you can go ahead and get the Summer Sale 2022 badge. All you have to do is head over to the Steam Points shop and then find on the left hand side where it says seasonal badge. All you're doing here is spending steam points to level up your account for free. It's something that you're probably not going to remember and when the winter sale comes and presumably maybe a month or two, you're not going to have the opportunity to get the summer sale 2022 badge. It's going to be the winter sale 2022 badge. So this is your last opportunity. I hope you make the best of it and I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.